Number one, we have a Bluetooth adapter for your Nintendo Switch. Use your AirPods or any other Bluetooth devices. Let's see how it works. Oh, this thing is really sharp. Oh, wow. Oh, nice little case, okay, for storage. All right, sticker there. And this is the adapter itself. This is it. And what is this? This is just something to stand it up, I guess, when you're not using. If you want to connect your AirPods or Bluetooth accessory, your speaker. Whoa. <laughs> All right, let's just keep that. You just plug this thing in. It's automatically going to connect. You guys see the lights? And it says A and it says B. Let's see. One thing I like about this adapter is no kind of dongle hanging from the headphone jack or anything swinging down. It's nice and minimalistic. You want to get your Bluetooth device. In this case, I have some AirPods. We're going to press and hold the button and then we gotta make sure this is on. So now, it's gonna put into pairing mode, it's automatically gonna see it, and it's gonna connect. Yeah, so now I can play Smash Brothers with the AirPods on. So we're gonna put my beats into pairing mode, so we're gonna turn them on, all right? We're gonna press and hold it until we see those flashes, and now it's in pairing mode, and we're gonna press the B. It's automatically like gonna pair, see look, it's paired, that's it. Yeah, this is really cool. So both of the devices are going currently. This is impressive, and this will work on any Bluetooth devices. Next. This is the Gilligit Switch Dock. So this is a smaller dock for your Switch, but it also works for smartphone too as well. Inside the box, let's look at this. This is it, it kinda looked like an, oops. It kinda looked like an Apple TV. And of course you have your Type-C cable. Now on the back you do have your HDMI, your dock mode button, your USB, and your AC adapter. This will work on any Type-C device for the most part and it's going to input it to your TV. Look at the size difference. It is just insane. This is all what you need. This little compartment here is all what you need. Next up, we have the AirPal, and this is for your AirPods. Now, this is gonna three times the battery life of your AirPods, and also, this is gonna charge your phone. So down here is a input slash output type C, and it is an indicator light to let you know there is you know some juice in there. I wish there was some indicator like four lights to let you know what's the status of the AirPal, but it's only one light. Um, as soon as you put your AirPods in the case, it's gonna automatically charge up, well, if it's on, it's gonna charge up your AirPods, just as you guys can see right there. Now, Apple, they should have been the one to make black AirPods, and, and this would be perfect. This would be a nice, stealthy look. Now, I tried to put my black AirPods that I had, but it just did not turn out to be well. It was actually stuck in here. It's not recommended to use any third-party uh, AirPods, you know, AirPods clone, quote-unquote, Use the official AirPods because it's going to be easier to take out. Let's show you guys a wireless charge work. I appreciate the attention to detail on the cable. And also, you have a Lightning. And also, it's a Type-C. So if you want to charge an Android device, you can do so. Or your iPad Pro, for that matter, you can do so. And it's going to charge your phone with no problems. So this is the AirPal, a nice little companion uh, for your AirPods. By the way, this material isn't carbon fiber. It looks like carbon fiber, but it isn't. This is 100% genuine almond fiber. So yeah, and it feels great. Scratching it is going to be very, very tough to do. This thing is rugged. This also has wireless charge, so you could charge your AirPods wirelessly. Just put this on the pad and it's going to charge with no problems. Of course, you got a little buckle, so you could clip this onto your jeans or your jacket or you know, your little shoulder bag and rock out just like that. Don't do that. No, don't do that. It just looks so ate up, but it's all good. Maybe I could probably fix it, polish it up a little bit. Next. Now this one here, this is called tablet. 
This is definitely a must have if you have an iPad or a tablet. You can lay down in bed and interact with your iPad with no problems whatsoever. Reading, typing, browsing, whatever you do. You can set it on uneven surfaces. You can fold it up when you're not using. All right, and here it is. This is Tablet. And I've been using this for like about a week or two. And I absolutely love it. This might be one of my favorite accessories just because of the convenience factor of it. So installation, just throw your iPad on there. And then you take the strap on the back for security. And now you're there, you're done. Now for iPad Pro models, it's recommended to have a thin case, but just after using my iPad Pro, this is the first generation, no nicks and dinks, nothing like that. And yeah, super duper long, you can put your legs right in here and use your iPad. Now it also works for smartphones too. You can rest your iPhone right in there. So yeah, this is Tablet, and I highly recommend it. We have the AirPods case, and that's literally the name airpods.cc this is the airpods pro case fun little fact i returned my airpods pro because they wasn't fitting in my ears and i just didn't want to take the chance and i would say this case right here from airpods it's really nice it's not real leather it's pu leather but pu leather is actually better in some case scenarios because it is water resistance um, compared to leather it might get messed up and it also comes with this clip so you could clip it onto your keys Whatever the case may be, clip it onto your bag. The reason why I have this case is because I am going to review AirPods Pro clone. So if you guys are new around here, make sure you guys subscribe with notifications on so you guys don't miss that video. It's going to be an interesting one. Um, but yeah, the case right here, if you have AirPods Pro, I'm going to throw a link in the description to the AirPods.cc website. Uh, this one is a heavy one. Next up, we have the Venkayo Performance V610 Projector. This is under $300. This goes up to 1080p. I'm going to demonstrate it in a little bit. But shout out to the homie Kimo. He kind of inspired me of projectors in a sense because when we was watching Power two summers ago, I believe, I was like, man, this is so dope. This is so fire because we outside, we have the barbecue, we have the grill outside and we watching Power. Like it was just so relaxed and it was so peaceful and man. I know right now is not an appropriate time. It's cold out, but if you live in Florida or somewhere warm, the possibilities are endless. You could literally have TV anywhere. But let's see what's inside. Mm, got that smell, that projector movie smell. So right away, presentation is gonna be on point. So for traveling, it's not gonna be too much of a hassle. Before we get to that, let's see what's inside this box. Okay, so we got a remote. This is an HDMI, add that to your collection. And also we got the power. And we have the classic, <laughs> what do you call these? These are composite, yeah, composite or component. Composite or component. Composite, these are composite cables. I haven't seen these cables in such a long time. I forgot the name of them, but I know they composite. This thing is so nice that they even come with like some tissues to clean the lens, that's really cool. The attention to detail, is remarkable this is a um usb to sd card micro sd card adapter so if you could plug it into the projector view all your photos on your camera whatever the case may be that is nice look at the top material wow this is premium quality right here okay so you have two hdmi you got your power your switch here and you have your USB. You got even more ports here. Okay, so you got your classic ports here. So you have your AV, your headphone jack, and you have your VGA. Now, before I even set it up, I wanna unbox this. This is a projector screen. You can pretty much showcase the projector on any wall you like, but if you want the, the best quality as possible, it's recommended to have a projector screen. But let's just open this up very, very quickly. This is the biggest size, and this is a Ziploc bag, so you can store it anytime, whenever you need it or don't need it. It's, it doesn't come with any batteries. All right, so if you want to adjust the focus, it's very, very similar to a camera, a DSLR camera. You just twist it, and it'll get clearer and uh, more sharper. Yeah, this is as far as it can go, and I can still read it. The further back you put the projector, the bigger the canvas is gonna be, the screen. <laughs> But 
I always try and never reload. And it looks cool when you're just running around, you know, with your mag constantly ejecting like that. I'm gonna chuck that right there. Oh my god, I hit that knife. There's a cool spot here where you can close it. Oh, there you go. Come on. Guy calling the kill streak. Let's keep the speed going. Keep it going. Oh. I'm sorry, no. Somebody, go get your buddies. Get your buddies out here. You better call your buddies. We're gonna call my buddies out right here. Wow. Oh my God. Jonah's a beast, but Vargon's up there. Oh my oh. God. Wow, Vargon. Vargon's a monster. <laughs> Nothing I like more than making guys sprint after they consumed way too much liquid. By the way, this projector can go all the way up to 200 inches, which is just insane. So the biggest TV in the house, basically, uh, this is right here, 140 inches. And the quality is phenomenal. The darker the environment, the sharper the picture is going to be, or the better the picture is going to be. And as you guys can see, I'm literally in the dining room. You can definitely accomplish a lot with a projector. And to combine the projector, you want to get a great quality gaming chair for those amazing game nights. This right here from E-Win the Champion Series is flat out phenomenal. The comfort is out of this world. I fell asleep on it one time and I was amazed. So get yourself a quality gaming chair. And I know I gave this a stamp of approval, but I'm going to say it again. This is a pop 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 pops approval. So guys, that pretty much concludes today's video. I would say these items or these products will make the best out of your AirPods in my opinion. And I forgot to include, this is a silicone case from the same company from AirPods.cc. I'm going to throw this link in the description. It's a nice little bundle that they have. It includes the silicone case, the air wings, the neck strap, everything you need to get going with your AirPods, your standard AirPods. And these are for the pros right here. I'm going to throw a link in the description to all the products that I mentioned. And if you guys are new around here, please make sure you guys subscribe with notifications on so you guys be notified. Drop a like on this video. Comment down below what's your favorite product or if you have any questions or concerns. And other than that, enjoy Pops. And I hope you guys have a simple day. Peace.